All right, here's the uh, cloth uh, effect simulation I was talking about in the previous uh, broom video that I was showing you just a minute ago, or that I posted recently. And cloth is pretty interesting. Now, I am running in the game engine. I'm not in regular Blender Render. A lot of times I use cloth within Blender Render, which is really cool as well. However, they both have certain advantages. And this one is nice because I can control the legs. And I like... I like interactive real-time environments and um, this kind of lighting is just fine for me for most things um, though I do like cycles render it's really nice but obviously you can't do that in real time so but it does interact with these objects and I was testing uh, the collision capabilities of this because you know sometimes your boundaries would get a little bit too tight especially at this point at the top of this cone I know I can drape this cloth over the cross at the top of it and make it break through you know, and that's a good test it's right there. See that coming through like that. However, you know, if I make the boundary too great, then it, then the cloth looks like it's sitting outside of it and doesn't uh, doesn't really feel like it's interacting with it. Now let's see what happens with this more this egg-shaped looking sphere. It's just a sphere, and it uh, it handles this pretty well. It handles it better if I go slower, of course. But it's nice, the transparency is nice. Oh, it moves it along. And then over here is just, perhaps this looks obvious to you by now, if you've seen all my 2.63a tutorials that I have a playlist on my YouTube channel. I uh, have quite a few uh, Blender tutorials to help you get grounded in the basics. But this is a, uh, this is a cube, yes, that has a multi-resolution modifier applied to it. And that way, for those of you who've seen that video, you know, you can easily select an edge loop or a face loop or, and it really helps you control your editing a little bit better. In this case, it doesn't matter. I'm just draping the cloth. Well, I'm going to be using this cloth effect for some uh, other reasons in here. But um, I won't be getting to the game engine tutorials for still a while because I have quite an extended list of tutorials I'm going to make. A lot of it covers uh, Blender Python programming for Blender Render, because that uh, you know that's pretty powerful in and of itself, and you can do a lot of things in there. And that help between that and the regular tutorials, it really helps you get grounded in the basics. But I must say, this is a lot of fun. I like working in the game engine a lot. If you've seen my Tank and Alien stuff, all that's done in the game engine, but it's all mostly controlled by uh, Python code instead of through the menu system. So that's why I don't do those tutorials right now. Okay, well that's it for now, and I uh, just thought maybe you'd like to take a look.